Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We got some snow here in Tennessee over the past couple days, which is not normal for this area, right? We get a little bit of dusting. That's pretty much it. So we got quite a bit of snow. Um, I want to say 10 inches, 12 inches, something like that over the past couple days. And we've had a lot of fun with the family. Uh, I did a little bit of snowboarding, being pulled behind the car in the neighborhood. That was a lot of fun. But today I got to get out. I got to work in this. So I got a service call here to, at a local church. They're uh, complaining that two of their units are not working. They're gas package units on the ground behind me over here. So let's go take a look at those and see what we find out. Let's do some work. All right, so I'm working with a couple old train gas packs here. As you can see, quite a bit of snow here. Pretty awesome. All right, let's get a meter, see what's going on. So we got incoming power, just fine. Go ahead and jump out this heater. Go ahead and jump it out and see what happens. Okay, so this one seems to be working fine when I jump it out. Uh, they're gonna be letting me inside here shortly to check the thermostat, because it could be a thermostat issue on this one. But I noticed that this unit, the snow has melted off the top. So that tells me that this one's probably been running. And that one, as you can see, is covered with snow. So that may be the reason why they're not quite keeping up because one unit is down, not necessarily both. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this one out now. Yeah, you can even see here where there's ice built up. This thing hasn't been running. So as you can see, checking the line voltage here, we have nothing. So I'm gonna go check the breaker up there and see what's going on. So for some reason they have a disc a breaker here going over and then there's fuses. The fuses are good. But I checked this breaker and it was it was basically tripped. It wasn't all the way in the middle position, but it was really loose to where it wanted to actually reset. So anyhow, that's our problem. We just need to figure out why it tripped.
Okay, so I reset the breaker, put the fuse block back in, and it fired right up. I'm gonna check the amp draw on the uh, blower motor and see, because that is a 30 amp breaker. So I wanna see if there's anything uh, causing that breaker to trip. But I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, see what happens. All right, so I checked everything on this unit, amped out the motors, everything's amping out well. Uh, I don't see any reason why that breaker would have tripped, to be honest with you. I've checked all the electrical connections, everything seems tight. We could, um, we could one, have a bad breaker, because again, it wasn't fully actually tripped. It was still all the way on the on position, but it was just slightly loose. So, could be a, br a bad breaker situation. Um, you know, this building actually isn't utilized that much, so there's no telling how long this breaker could have been tripped. It could have been tripped in the uh, cooling season, for all I know. Um, you know, as you can tell, these units are very old, and they don't really run that often, so. But I kind of wanted to recap my thought process when I was coming here to troubleshoot everything. Um, when I walked up, right, the customer told me that both units were down. So right away, I was thinking that there were two units that we had problems with. So when I walked up, I noticed that this unit, the um, all the ice was melted off the top, right? That's an indication that something has been running. And even on the flue here, there was no ice, no snow, nothing. It was all bare metal. So again, another indication that something had been running. And then when I looked at this guy, we're solid snow. I actually had ice build up on the flue here and there was snow down in there. So that told me for sure this unit had not been running. Um, so, you know, those are just some small things to, you know, again, that I talked about in my last video is keeping an open mind to your environment. Noticing the small details like that are really gonna help you troubleshoot when you're out here in the field. Um, you know, because it was just a telltale sign that this unit had been running and this one hasn't. So anyway, just wanted to kind of give you guys my thought process on how I thought about these certain things. You know, this is a pretty uh, simple and quick, easy service call, but it doesn't really matter. It's still the same process. No matter if you go on to something that's bigger, that takes longer as far as the repair goes, or if it's something quick and easy like this. The, the thought process is still the same. Having that open mindset, paying attention to your surroundings, is still the same so anyway i'm gonna button this up i think i'm good here i've tested it for about 15 minutes everything seems to be working well but i hope you guys got something out of this video hit that thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time we'll see you guys later i'm gonna hand it to you guys and gals that live up north and have to deal with this snow all the time because man it's cold